I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. So here we are in Medieval Dynasty. Now you've all kind of seen the opening of the game. I know I did it a little bit in my um, my first look, but uh, since this is a proper let's play, we are going to take our time, do everything right. So you guys need to let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything in particular happen. Doesn't matter what it is, just let me know. Also, I figured I would start uh, in some of my videos asking questions, questions that I would very much like answered. Uh, little simple things, nothing, nothing over the top. Um, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to talk to the Castellan. Okay. Um, so my question for you today is... Why did that sound like something was right behind? Oh, I see a rock. I see a rock. Pick it up. Uh, any other rocks? No, I don't have that ability yet. That's right. It's the mushroom. Ooh, there we go. Rock. Okay. Perfect. Um. Uh, maybe I won't ask a question today. I've got to write down some of them anyway, so... Let's keep a going this way. If you see my compass up at the top, I'm headed that direction. And I'm just going to read the dialogue for um, for the characters. I'm not going to do anything fancy unless you guys really want me to try voice acting. Uh, Unigost. Those eyes. I didn't think I would see them again. One blue as the sky, the other black as a lump of coal. Are you all right? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Sorry. So you aren't one. Good. For a second, I thought I had lost it. But your eyes. You look just like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me for someone. I'm new to these parts. I just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Rosamir. I'm... Wanda's son, aren't you? Jordan's nephew. What? Did you know my mother? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his families separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait. What do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it. This world. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. It's okay. They've died so I could live. And I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my Uncle Jordan. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Rasimir. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your Uncle Jordan is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you feel. He was a dear friend of mine. So that's it? I'm the only one left? Don't say that. Hey, look at me. This valley is filled with warm-hearted people who can gladly aid you with whatever you need, and I'm one of them. So what should I do now? You are free to go wherever you like and start a new life. 
I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. There are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your settlement. Just like that, I can take the land free of charge. Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you're free to do as you please, as long as you don't break any laws, of course. Or at least don't get caught doing so. That sounds amazing. This valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and a stick from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer, which will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Continue to listen. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gustovia and talk to my wife, Dobronega. She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beers for both of us and come back. I'll tell you some stories about Jordan. That sounds like a plan to me. All right. Now we need to pick a place. That sound is really loud. Now we need to pick a place to uh, set up our house. And is there a map? There is a map. Okay. Uh, press M for map. Let's see. I want some place that's kind of flat. Wonder. Let's. Let's see. What's sort of central? Like right here is central. I think I set up a house up here in the in another game and I've definitely set up one up here by this lake. Oh no, it was up by this lake. There we go. Um I think we'll settle here by this crossroad here. I'm pretty sure well that looks like it's forested but not overly so. This might be a good place to do right here. So that's where we're going to go. I'm going to speed. What the hell is that? Wagoneer? I need a ride. Holy expensive, Batman. Okay. Um, Not going to take a ride, but that. So they added fast travel to the game. That's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Um, that obviously used to not be a feature in the game. That must be a recent update. Uh, I'll have to go through the update notes and figure out where that came from. Okay, so we're going this way. I will speed this up and see you there. Okay, so uh, came across the cart that we saw. What, what was that? What was that? Sticks. Eh, I'll take them. Um... We came across the cart that was here the last time with the wheat in it. Uh, if I come across any more carts, I'll slow it down. But otherwise, back to the speed up. Um, so I completely spaced. Whoops. Uh, I forget how to craft stuff. Okay, so you hold Q to craft stuff. We're going to... Or you just tap Q, I guess. Go to handcrafted, and we're going to make a stone axe because we picked up a bunch of sticks and stones at this point. And we're going to chop down this tree that I'm standing right next to. Okay. Pull it out. And the reason I'm doing that is because it occurs to me we just walked past uh, two animal hunting spots. Oh, they fixed the sound of the trees. The trees used to make this god-awful sound. Anyway, uh, we just walked past an animal hunting spot. We don't have a spear or anything, so we also don't have anything to defend ourselves with. I'm going to pick up these three logs. Then I'm going to go back into my Q menu, into handcrafting. Go to wooden spear, press R, E to craft the maximum amount, and F to accept. And because we have the fast crafting on, boom, just like that, we have the... um the stuff crafted so we're gonna go here to wooden spear put that as our number two so our hot bar is uh you can press one and two to go back and forth uh or you can mm, press alt is it alt no it's not alt uh 
middle mouse button that's what it is middle mouse button will pull up a radial menu of what's in your inventory so you can switch on the fly with both hands okay back to the speed up Ooh. uh came across some logs which I won't turn those down. And ooh, mead and a stone axe. Um, which probably means we just stole somebody's um somebody's work that they did all day. But uh hey, now I'm just picking a few of these. I have no idea what daisies and dandelions do, but we might be able to eat them. And St. John's Wart, uh, I can't remember exactly, I think. St. John's wort is used for detoxifying, so it, it reduces your poisoning. And then broadleaf plantains, those are a special kind of uh, flat leaf weed that you can find in Europe that um, can act as a bandage. They're just big enough to act as bandages. So they don't have particularly antiseptic qualities or anything like that. All right, moving on. Oh white-tailed eagle where which way did he go nope don't see it i'm sure it's gonna fly away right in my face oh there it is uh i don't think i have uh oh i have enough to make a knife so i'm gonna make a knife really quick and then we're gonna see about killing tweety bird over here which oh whoops Apparently, swinging my spear at him from this far away was different than me running up on him. Oh, well. Moving on. I kind of like... Kind of like this area. Is that close to where we said? It is close to where we said. Um, yeah, why don't we... Let's just take a gander. Look at everything. We could build our village completely on this triangle of land here. That would put roads on both sides of it, and I don't know of a downside to that. But we could also build up that direction. There's tons of trees. Why don't we do that? We'll build on the triangle down here, and we'll build up in this area up here. So where do I want my house? Um, hmm, I honestly don't know. Let's see, in our queue menu, we've got roads. Gravel roads, so let's grab this. We'll run up here. Looks like this was already a road anyway. And that's the, oh no. It just, so it freezes. Okay. Boom, just like that. We've got a gravel path. Whoops. Um, now we need to decide where our... Um, where our house is going to go. Let's see. I, f I think that we can build like a tavern at some point. So I'm going to keep that like right here because that would be really cool to have the tavern where people could just come in off the road and like sit down i don't know maybe i'm overthinking it and maybe this uh isn't even gonna go far enough for us to get to a tavern but uh that's up to you guys below or let me know in the comments below if you really want to see the rest of this series uh we're gonna go up here and i think i'm gonna build my house off kilter so buildings houses uh wait a second i oh, know that's right i need to build a ton of houses before i can learn to build bigger houses so we're gonna start with a simple house here which we're eventually going to build a better house but we need uh, uh there we go we need some logs and I'm sure we'll end up needing stones, or maybe not. You can come in down? Or did I perfectly balance you? Okay. Hit it again, get all the sticks and feathers out of it. Hit it again, get all the logs. 
I'm gonna pick up those and those and those. Now we're gonna hit our Q menu. We are uh, encumbered now. That's why we're moving so slow. We're gonna craft the wooden hammer down here. Perfect. Then we're going to equip the hammer by pressing I, going into our inventory, grabbing wooden hammer, putting that in slot eight. Perfect. Oh, uh, hydration. So I'm low on a, on water, and the, it looks like we have enough for the foundation. Let's put it together. Oh, <laughs> or I don't know how to count. Uh, going back to our axe. I remember the question I was going to ask. Um... I was going to ask in regards to the dialogue. So pause the video, go down in the comments below and let me know for the for the dialogue. Do you want me to skip the dialogue on camera and give you the synopsis of the storyline as it unfolds? Or do you want me to read over all of the dialogue, which will just slow down dialogue sections, but um it might be more preferable for you guys to be able to see that you let me know in the comments below do we skip dialogue and i give you a brief synopsis or do we go through all of the dialogue and then <laughs> i have one more question um loud noise of course great timing um my other question is with travel time would you guys be okay if i show you the travel time sped up or e hell even slowed down the first time and then we just avoid showing the travel time again it doesn't matter one way or the other, other to me it just makes the episodes uh potentially longer which like i said i have no problem with but if you want to see everything sped up this game is one of those games where it takes a long time to do anything ah look at that starting to come together now what do i need i need sticks so let's see i need 6 12 18 oh, 8 16 24 32 40 plus 6 12 18 26 so i need 56 do i i don't quite have enough let's pick up a few more sticks and some stones while we're at it because why the hell not i know i need more logs but uh let's get the sticks out of the way um the two ways i could do this is i can show the travel the first time and cut out when there really isn't anything interesting because a lot of times nothing happens on the roads um so the first time i show it and then i cut it out from then on out unless something super interesting happens or i just show all of the travel time sped up um i'm going to go with bare minimum sped up because even i don't want to go back and edit 45 minutes of me walking in order to do one quest kind of thing. So let me know in the comments below if you'd prefer to see uh, how I learned to count. What the hell? Jeez, I swear I counted. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I was almost 20 short. I'm an idiot. So let me know. That is horrendously loud sound uh i'll stop complaining about it eventually i'm sure when it stops interrupting me in the middle of my thought process it's hard enough with adhd to go hey look a chicken uh nope in the middle of trying to tell a joke about having adhd i had an adhd moment now i can't remember what i was talking about ah hell Oh, well, it'll come back to me or not. 
Okay, so we got all that. Then one, two, three, four. Oops. Two, three, four. So now, since I don't know how to count, we need one log, two logs, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 logs that'll take us a couple of trips but uh but that's okay um i don't even remember what question i asked you first that eh, goes to show that uh i have the memory and attention span of a rat in a burning meth lab come here eh, don't fall on me not that the trees falling on you does anything whatsoever but i like to keep the immersion sometimes don't be mad at me <sighs> you know this game is really peaceful um the days take the days are too short like that's the sun almost going down but uh So let's put the that in. There we go. Then we put that there. That there. That there. And that. Whoops. That there. That leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I know. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Yeah, and I just put those. So I need eleven more. But we need to drink and eat, so let's run down to the river really quick. Make sure we always have our spear handy in case there's a, a um, rabbit. Yes, I know. Sleep. Thank you. In case there's a rabbit that we can eat or something. But we're going to wander right out into the water and take a big old drink with our chin in the water. Then we'll go in here and have there. There we go. I don't know why I'm still picking up rocks. I don't think I need rocks right now. Is that a that is a rock uh, deposit? Cool. Okay, so it's starting to get late. Let's grab a few more sticks and see if we can't build a campfire uh, because before you have a bed, a campfire is the only way to sleep through the night. Which, I mean, makes a certain amount of sense. But when it gets dark, it gets really dark and I don't want you guys to have to sit through the darkness. So going to go over here. Press our Q menu, come down to furniture and decorations, campfires, and do a simple campfire, which we're going to put uh, this far away from the house. Then we're going to light the fire. Uh, that will burn all night. So we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to pick up a few extra pieces. Um... So, I could get a shovel and remove the stumps, but if I remove the stumps, the trees don't grow back, and I would prefer to keep the deforestation to a minimum, not because I'm some kind of environmentalist nut job who gives a crap about any of that, but because... What is that? Is that the wind? Oh, okay. Um, not because I'm some kind of environmentalist nut job, but I'm lazy and I don't want to have to run all the way over there to get trees because I kill all the trees over here, so. Um, score one for lazy that makes me an environmentalist. Let's grab that. And this one. Ah. Oh, that's right. We leveled up a little while ago and I was too busy complaining about it. So under skills... Uh, we leveled up in survival. Now, if any of you know me, you know that I'm going to reinvest in order to 
get more out of it so survival knowledge is the first thing we're going to spend we get five more experience five percent more experience from any survival activities so like picking things up and whatnot um there we go get that grab those and now i'm super encumbered because i'm an idiot uh hold up let's go here and drop the rocks with X E F. Ah, much better when I'm not carrying around a pile of rocks. What the hell was I just talking about? Nope, I forgot. Oh man, my brain is all over the place today. Um. No idea. Don't remember. Sorry. Oh, wait. I don't need that. I need this. I did those. Now I need 32 straw. Um, I can do that in the morning. If this will let me sleep right now, I will sleep to the next day. Wow. When did they add weather? Well, that's horrible. I'm going to get eaten by something. Let me um, pull out my spear run around like a heathen okay so we're going for straw straw comes from things like reeds and wheat and all that stuff so gotta come down here and grab a ton of this i'm probably gonna level up again in survival picking reeds for some reason reeds are really unbalanced they give you a lot of experience or maybe i just pick so many of them that i get a lot of experience I don't know, but I'm going to grab like 50 or 60. Yes, I know building. Jeez. I'm going to grab like 50 or 60 reeds because I know I'm going to need them for other things. So let's grab that. Told you. All right, I lied. We're getting 75 of it, I guess. So, um, cool. <laughs> Not quite sure why I'm so scatterbrained right now. It might be, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel crazy sometimes. And you know what scares me the most is the times I don't feel crazy. Okay, let's grab out that hammer. Get this roof up and going. And then I think we just need a few more um, logs. Yep, just a few more logs. Let's go get some. Can I get you with the axe? No, I can't. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Apparently, yes, I can. Okay, this seems a... That seemed a little excessive. But might as well take its skin and meat. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, just like that. 18 meat. That barely feeds one person, but it's something. Okay, let's chop down this birch tree really quick, and then we'll go back to our house. Um... Grab that, and that. <sighs> Whoa! Holy crap. Um, I guess I can't really show that on YouTube. Uh, I didn't know that that game had this in it. Um, okay. It looks like, uh, it looks like this game kind of panders to the male fantasy. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm gonna unblur in a second and you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about, but, uh, uh, I'm, I might have to ask the ladies to just avert your eyes, um, cause this, this might get pretty, like I said, it panders to the male fantasy, so, alright, three, two, one, There it is. I own a house. I know, hell of a fantasy. Kinky, it involves wood. But, uh, yeah, it's sad how true that is. Sorry, stupid joke, but I had to try it. Um, let's craft some meat whoops let's craft all the meat take a second to cook it up really quick and that way we've got some extra food okay I'm going to whoops going to open this chest and put in all of the leather all of the roasted meat and the morels and the mead the feathers the dandelions if i eat the dandelions i consume less water well that's cool and i'm gonna put my coins in there as well i'm probably gonna forget that and that's gonna bite me in the ass but uh all right so, let's see. We need to build a rabbit trap, hunt a wild animal, and survive for a season. So, let's see what it takes to build a uh, rabbit trap. Gonna go here to... That one looks like it has a trap on it, so... Traps and rabbit trap. Okay. Um, I wonder how far away I have to put this. Over here, there seems to be a lot of deer and stuff, so... I'll put it right here. Oh, and it puts a little marker on my, um, on my mini-map. Cool. I like it. We're gonna arm that trap. And now we need to hunt something. I should have waited to kill the deer. Let's see now. Oops. I ran too close to it. Can I kill the moose with a headshot? That's the big question. Okay, moose, stop moving. Looks like a baby moose anyway. Let's get a little closer. Ooh, got you right in the back of the head, dude. Ooh, crap. One more. Aw, oh, damn. Um, well, let me pick up my spears. So, uh, you have this inspect mode that the game doesn't tell you a lot about, but if you press alt, it will pull up this overlay that allows you to see stuff that you otherwise wouldn't have seen. So let's see. Is there a rabbit? Oh, there is a rabbit, but there's also the moose. That would be a hell of a shot. Let's go after the moose. 
wonder if it leaves like a proper blood trail. Okay, the moose is a, oh, I, I hear, oh crap. I heard a pig. Oh, what's this? What is this? Is that a bucket? Ooh, I'll take it. Looks like you all died anyway. Uh, don't mind if I do. We're going to press F. Whoops. Uh, to transfer everything. There we go. Um. Torch. Oh my goodness. Seeds. Well, that's an extremely valuable find. If I can get an orchard planted before the summer starts. Firewood? Oh, crap. There's a lot of firewood. Those are heavy, aren't they? Oh, yeah. They're very heavy. Iron axe. That's like the best axe you can get. And arrows? Oh, I'm getting so distracted. Um, let's drop the firewood. Yeah, all of that. And... Yeah, pick up the arrows. Iron arrows. And a recurve bow. Jeez, what did I come across? This is like a noble's camp. Uh, gonna open that, because, yeah, um, I'm a greedy little loot goblin. So, salted meats, okay. Very greedy little loot goblin, and now I'm moving at a absolute snail's pace. Let's drop everything I can. We're going to start with... What the hell weighs so much? Oh, stone axe. We'll drop the broken stone axe. Keep the normal one. Let's see what weighs the most in my inventory. My sticks. Well, I can always get more sticks. And the apple tree seedlings are actually what are weighing me down the most, but they are by far the most valuable thing I have grabbed. Well, not sure what all this is, but I'm going to try and hunt me a rabbit while I'm encumbered. And I'm going to speed this up. Yeah, got him. I guess I didn't have to speed it up all that much. Uh, we're going to skin him and then I'm going to get back home. All right, so I have decided I think we're going to build a storage... Resource storage. We're going to build a resource storage. It's going to go on that side of... Oh, no. That's a little too close to the road. Let's put it up here, actually. Let's see about putting a little path off this direction. So we're going to grab some road. We're going to go right up to where we can. We're going to run this direction. Gonna put it right there. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we're going to put the resource... Whoops. We're gonna put the resource storage over there. So let's grab more road. I try not to build my stuff in grids as often as a game will allow me to avoid it. Um, this game doesn't do a terribly great job at allowing me to avoid it, but... Maybe we'll... I don't know if I really want the storage too close to the road, but at the same time, I don't think it matters. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the storage right here. I'm gonna go here, there, storage. Get as close to the road as possible. Can I get it on a stone foundation? 
No, I can't. Okay. If you move a house to a different spot, um, you can get it on a stone foundation if it settles on the ground, but because this area is just uneven enough, it's putting the, um, putting the foundation up on risers like that. So, not that it's super important, but... Alright. Moving over here... Do I need any of the clothes that I picked up? That's fur, fur, and a cap. The cap gives me heat and cold protection, so we're going to equip that. Um, let's see. The iron axe, we're going to put that in slot number one. We're going to move the spear to slot number three and put the stone axe in slot number two, and I'll show you why I'm doing that in a moment. Thick leather, leather gloves. Those take away from my heat, so... Or take away from my heat resistance. So I'm going to drop all of the... Un yes, we're going to keep the arrows because we have a recurve bow. So drop the meat. Simple torch, small wicker basket. All of the straw, the gloves, the wheat. I don't have any use for that just yet. Um, okay, then we're going to put the bucket, the beetroot seeds, the apple wine, the apple tree seedlings. What did I, I had pear tree seedlings too? Okay. And the fur capillary. Cool. Okay. So, next on the docket is to survive the season. Now, what I would love to do, um, I know that uh, I'm supposed to go talk to Unigas' wife. Um, I know that she has a quest for us and it takes a little bit. So I figured uh, we would focus on building the resource storage so we had a little more storage space here at home and then go from there. So uh, why did I put my iron axe here when I put my stone axe here? Well, here's why. If you go to your iron axe, uh, yeah, let me show you with the stone axe first. So here's a stone axe cutting down a tree. Every tree is the same, by the way. If it's this big and it says you can cut it down, it takes the same number of hits per axe. So watch. One, two, three, four, five. It takes five hits to bring down. With the iron axe, one, two, three. Right? Well, then why would I keep the stone axe, you ask? Here's why. Because doing this... Whoops to get all the sticks off, and then doing this to turn it into logs, costs one hit no matter what ax you use. So, in order to save on the um, durability of my ax, I do it that way. It's more to carry around, but it does end up serving you better in the long run. We unlocked a woodshed too. Okay, so we leveled up in our extraction skill, which is when we cut down trees, um, mine stones, that kind of stuff. So we're going to take the um, booster at the beginning. We're actually going to max out that booster and we can reorganize later. But uh, let's look at what we've unlocked. So building technology, building a well. So we need to build a well. Uh, resource storage, we already unlocked that in the woodshed. We unlocked that. The building technology develops as we build structures. So the house that we built gave us enough to build the resource storage, and that's pretty typical no matter what speed you have your experience set to. The hunting lodge was unlocked when we hunted, fished, and set traps. So we're at hunting lodge one. Uh, we have enough money to buy some of these, but we're not going to buy them just yet. 
the farming technology is when you farm. So we'll get to that eventually. And the workshop one is when you craft stuff. So if you, it used to be in the game that you could um, stand there and craft like a dozen knives and it would help you level up. I don't know if they nerfed it or not because literally you'd only have to craft like 40 knives to get pretty decently into the crafting tree. But like I said, I don't know if they fixed that. Boom, just like that. I like how it's suspended, but there's a dirt floor. I didn't make the game. Actually, as all in all, the game is really well put together. Um, I don't have many complaints about it. Every once in a while, it has a bug. Sometimes I would consider it a game breaking bug but uh, they've fixed all of those every time there's been an update, so I can't complain too much. Let's chop down a few more trees. And then, oh, nope, don't hit me. Not that it matters, but still makes me nervous. Chop down a few more trees. And how many go to management? We can build 10 buildings right now. Um, normally we can only build five at this stage, but remember in our, in my settings video that I released before this, we talked about having, um, more buildings available. One more tree and then I'll clean them all up. Clean and logs. Clean and logs. Yes, I... Oh, what's wrong with my health? Why is my water gone? Um, okay. We are running to get a drink really quick because I guess my water is, um... low. Did I seriously drink water and then get dehydrated that quick? Hmm. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so we got that. Now let's eat a little bit of food. Uh, I don't know if I pointed it out, but down here, when I open up this menu, there are uh, different, um, whatchamacallit, metrics that you can look at. So <sighs> you have your health, your food, your water, right? You have your level of poisoning. This is how much the poisoning effect is getting to you. If it ever reaches 100%, I'm pretty sure that's when you just keel over and die. And they're like, well, you shouldn't have eaten that, but that berry, you know, whatever. Intoxication is pretty obvious. You can brew uh, alcohols in this game, and we will get into that in a much later episode. Uh, but uh, you can actually drink yourself to death as well. So keep that in mind. It also affects your ability to work, your ability to rest, a couple of other things. Uh, your temperature tolerance, the green uh, tells you where you, your body can handle. The blue and red are obviously your hypo, uh, hypothermic and hyperthermic um, zones. The protection from the heat and cold, I think it maxes out at 50%, uh, but right now we have 20 and 25%. And then our dirtiness, this affects our ability to talk to people, to charm people, to get married, all that stuff. So every once in a while, you either run into the water like I just did, or we'll build a wash tub. But I think we're still a little away from a wash tub. So... Uh, this episode is going to be purely me doing, uh, this kind of stuff, the, the building, if you haven't figured it out already at this point. If you would like future episodes to be a little faster, just let me know. I'm willing to make changes however I have to, because I want you guys to enjoy watching this as much as I enjoy making it. That's really important to me. Well, well, I'm an idiot. Specifically go over how to keep your your axe sharp and, you know, alive longer. And, and I go and do something like that. Okay. I think that was the six that I needed, but I'm not entirely sure. And I only have like 
2% left on my hammer. So I'm going to build another wooden hammer. And uh, it should be that when this hammer breaks, the other one will just automatically take its place. So let's see. Yep, it broke. And now in the bottom right hand corner, you see that I'm using a brand new hammer. Okay, cool. Uh, let's grab just a few more. Do I have more logs on the ground? I think I do. There we go. Um, now, unless I'm mistaken, there are no animals in the game that will actively hunt you down outside of their territory. So, like... I know that around here, at least according to the map, if you go into the map and you go over here to, uh, is it hunting? Hunting? No, it's animals, production services, storages, seriously, wild animals. There we go. If you go into wild animals, it'll tell you what's nearby. So there's a lynx uh, habitat up here that I guess the game recognized for us when we ran past it. Um, but there's deer moose eagles and conies or rabbits um in this area there are no predatory animals like wolves or anything in fact we haven't come across any wolf area yet so um we don't have to worry about animals attacking us here unless one of the events that we talked about in the settings video is like an animal raid or something um but i don't know anything about that okay so let's get the inside done and now some of the outside walls So, uh, we got that all sorted. Let's see if we can find that, um, oh, the rabbit trap. I forgot. Uh, is there anything in it? Okay. So, there's a rabbit in there. It's dead. I'm going to leave it there because if I harvest it, it's going to start spoiling just like the rest of our stuff. Um, so... What the hell was that sound? Did that sound like someone screaming? Okay, here's the camp. Stone axe, stick. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the stick mostly. And where the firewood goes at it. Firewood six. Yep, we're going to grab that and run back. To our house with that. Okay, it got eerie kind of quiet right after I heard that scream. Is that a fox call? I'm vaguely familiar with foxes. I guess that's what it could be, but anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Um,. Now I need to put more sticks in this really quick. So grab, the, grab that. Perfect. Now what do the tops need? Tops need l uh, sticks. Okay. Let's get the sticks. And then it's pretty much just a straw and log game, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Probably need 50 or more straw, but we'll see what we got. Um, straw, straw, straw. There, no straw. There we go. Yeah, I only have 43 straw, so we're gonna be probably going and picking more straw. And depending on how long it takes, we might be doing that tomorrow because it's getting on towards evening. Well, my 
damn hammer broke, so we're going to be cutting down another tree. I really want this tree to grow back. Um, I think it'd be kind of nice to have a tree or two, you know, central to our stuff. There's no um, logical reason behind it, just... I think it looks good. All right, let's grab that, build another hammer really quick. And I wonder if it'll put it, it won't. Okay, so that's a gripe. I wish that these slots had memory so that when you crafted another hammer, it would just throw it back in there. Um, small gripe, but all right, so. Oh, no more logs. Okay. Uh, we are going to go to sleep in our house and, uh, we'll finish that tomorrow. Perfect. All right. So let's get some more logs. Um, we'll just keep going until we're done with that. And then we'll probably call this episode. And final piece. Beautiful. So, uh, two things, I guess. In today's episode, we, um, we specifically focused on, uh, just getting up and running. We built the house. We built the animal trap, uh, which actually I can go harvest while we're talking. And we built the storage. Gonna grab my spear just in case. I gotta poke the little bugger. Um, that's what we were able to do today. I'm gonna press E to rearm that. We, uh, let's see. Um, today's video was edited in traditional style where I sped up all of the travel and whatnot. Whenever there was a dull moment, I sped up some of the construction. If you'd like me to keep up with that, let me know in the comments below. If you would prefer that I give, um, like we do it once or twice. Like if we're going to go from here to Gustovia, you actually see that sped up once or twice and then. From here on out, it's just me. I'm going to the Gustovia. Zoop, and now I'm in Gustovia or whatever. Um, let me know. It. Uh, I do, like I said, I want to make these videos not only something that I enjoy doing, but something you enjoy watching. So uh, in our next episode, I think we are going to try to... Um, I think we're going to try to build a wood shed let's see extraction no we're gonna try and build a wood shed a well and uh we might even get uh started on that farm make an orchard or two um so just let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything in particular. Otherwise, we're going to keep going on with the pacing of this. I'm going to keep up with the just speeding up time for right now until it gets a little too tedious because some of the quests are really long. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.